Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about a murder mystery case. This is the case of Little Miss Nobody. I've personally never heard of this case, so when I was researching it, I found it really interesting that I've never heard somebody else cover this. I'm going to be looking down at my phone because I'm reading about it. So. Anyway, so... Little Miss Nobody, that name was given to this young girl who was found in Arizona on July 31st of 1960. Okay, she was found in Yavinpai County, Arizona on July 31st of 1960. I definitely pronounced that wrong, but um, they estimate that her body was found one to two weeks after her initial death, and the cause of her death is still unknown. They weren't able to establish what exactly had happened to her. They are suspecting that it was homicide. They were never able to identify the exact cause of her death or anything regarding her death. Her body was discovered by a, a Las Vegas school teacher named Russell Allen, who had been searching for rocks to decorate his garden. So imagine if you were just going around town looking for rocks to put in your garden and you come across this little girl. Investigators noticed that the area surrounding the girl had looked like somebody had tried to dig a shallow grave for her. They suspected that there was two different attempts to, to make a grave for her, which neither of them were used. Her body was found clothed in white shorts, a checkered blouse with a distinctive chain pattern, along with a pair of adult rubber flip-flops that had been cut to fit the child's feet and fastened with leather straps. The child's toes and fingernails had reportedly been painted a bright red color. Investigators also found an appropriately bloodstained pocket knife near the body. We were unable to determine whether this utensil held any resemblance to the crime. The forensic pathologist who performed the autopsy determined the body was of a white girl mostly between the ages of 5 to 7 years old. She was 3 feet and 6 inches tall, and she weighed only about 50 to 60 pounds. But later, when they re-examined her body, they determined that she could also have been around 9 years old. So, her age was just as, as a mystery as she was herself. Later found in the autopsy, they determined that the body had been charred. Most likely from somebody trying to attempt a cremation on her. Although, it was unsuccessful. And due to how long it took for them to find her and how fast the composition occurred with her, they were unable to identify any remarking facial features to like pinpoint who she was. By August of 1960s, investigators began to suspect the remains had belonged to those of a four-year-old girl named Sharon Lee Galagos, who had been abducted in New Mexico ten days before the discovery of the body. Despite the fact that the clothing the victim wore was inconsistent to Gallows, as the clothing could have been easily changed in the past week. Galagos currently remains a missing person. However, police later released a statement that they believe the unidentified child was older than Galagos. So they don't really think that that was her, although they suspected for a while. Later in March of 1961, they found another possibility of who this girl could have been. They think the girl could have been Debbie Dudley, a four-year-old girl missing from Virginia. Investigators had failed to find her body as well. The siblings after the body of the seven-year-old sister, Carol Ann, was found wrapped in a blanket on February 9th of 1961. She had died due to the combination of malnutrition, exposure, and neglect. She had endured from her parents. Debbie's remains were found later in South Virginia. So they thought that this girl was her, but turned out they found her remains a couple months later. Despite the numerous and extensive local and national efforts to conduct and identify her, all efforts to either identify the child or any trace of her have failed. So in 2018, the decision to re-examine the body and get a DNA sample was made. Obtaining the samples were successfully obtained from her body and entered the National Missing and Identified Person System and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children database for comparison with nationwide unsolved murders and missing person reports, although nothing had come up with that. Her body was reburied at a Mountain View cemetery. So, if anybody knew anything about this case and has never spoken up, you should. To try and get this mystery solved. I just wanted to make this video to bring awareness to her. And 
I had never heard of it, so I thought maybe somebody else would like to hear about the information that I found. So, thanks for watching.